Hi, I'm Robert Summercrest, Dean of Virginia Tech's Business School, the Pamplin College of Business. Virginia Tech is almost 150 years old, and I'm proud to be part of that university. I'm sure you feel the same way. Our university, including Pamplin, has made a great deal of progress over the years. Much of our accomplishments are seen in our alumni. We've got alumni who've led extraordinary lives through their professional, social, and personal accomplishments. We also have faculty who are experts leading in their fields, faculty who care about their students. We have so many alumni and faculty who are great role models for current and future students. As we create the future for Pamplin, we need to recognize our past. And Bill, let's start with you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be with you. Um, as Dean Summercraft said, I'm Bill Foster. I'm a member of the class of 1965, and I majored in finance. At Tech, I've been active uh, and served in a variety of ways, but the ways you might recognize best would be the Board of Visitors and the Pamplin Advisory Council. I've been involved at Tech since I was a teenager. Uh, I attended the first basketball game in Castle Coliseum. I attended the first football game in Lane Stadium. Now, Bill, you, you showed us as you introduced yourself that you've got a lot of personal history that goes along with the college's relatively short history. And you especially have some knowledge of uh, Bob Pamplin and his son, uh, Bob Jr. So could you share your perspective on the, uh, the history of the college and maybe a little about those two gentlemen? The College of Business was created in 1965. In 1969, Commerce Hall was renamed Pamplin Hall. And then in 1988, the College of Business became the Pamplin College of Business uh, under Dean Sorensen. The first person we should uh, take a gander at, if you will, is uh, Bob Pamplin Sr. Uh, Bob was born in 1911 uh, on a farm in Dinwiddie County, Virginia, which is southwest of Petersburg, uh, along I-85. Um, it was rural and he enjoyed his farm life, but probably happy to get away from it for the bright lights of Blacksburg. Uh, he graduated from Virginia Tech in 1933. He and Catherine were married in 1941, and Bob died in 2009 at the age of 97. Uh, Catherine had preceded him in death at, in uh, 2008. Uh, Bob and Catherine were married 68 years. Another important Pamplin is Robert Pamplin Jr. He was born in 1949 and just turned 79. I did not know uh, Dr. Pamplin. Uh, he had left tech before I arrived. Uh, one little known fact about him is that he uh, became a stockbroker while he was an undergraduate and became a millionaire. I think the only way I would have become an, a millionaire uh, as an undergraduate would have been to give me two million and I would spend it down to one. Uh, another little known fact about the Pamplins is that there is a second Pamplin College at the University of Portland. So uh, these are the two men behind uh, the Pamplin College envisioned what we now are seeing at they're very important with their, their interest in tech uh, to us and to everything that we're doing. I'm one of the few left, I think, that uh, knew Bob Pamplin. Uh, I served on the Board of Visitors with him and on an investment subcommittee of the Board of Visitors. And Bob's uh, life and ph philanthropy reflect times passing within the Pamplin College and its history. And I, and I want to really thank Bill Foster for taking their time uh, to give us a little sense of history for Pamplin.